Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another quick Divi Pro Tip. So today it's going to be a fun one. We're going to show you how to change the cursor highlight color. So if someone is on your website or one of the websites you're designing and they want to copy some text, maybe from your blog or just from your, your pages there, when they highlight it, it'll become the color of whatever you tell it to be. So if you know, it might you might want it to match your brand. So we've actually done it on our site. You can go try that out. Uh, we made it the green color. Um, that's just kind of a little extra subtle thing that people may not even think about consciously, but it's one of those extra little branding things that you can add to your website. And I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so let's show you how to do it. All right, so this one is quite fun and it's very easy. And you may notice over on our site, if I highlight any text, it turns green. Now, normally this would turn like a, a, the blue color, you know, that standard blue that you see across the web. Um, but, but mine's turning green. In fact, over here, make sure you're going over to the blog post. That's where we have this snippet. I have that linked in the description of this video. But you'll see even when I'm highlighting this here, <laughs> that's so cool. It's turning the color that I want it to turn. I told it to turn this green and that's what it's doing. So it's a way of branding. So I've branded my my whole site with with this little snippet of code. Now, if anyone is copying anything on my site, they're going to get that little tiny bit of extra branding that just kind of reinforces that wow, you really went the extra mile and you really thought through things. You must be good or professional or something, you know. Um, so that's kind of the, I guess that's the image that it gives off. So anyway, we need to copy this instead of just play with it. We, let's copy that. So grab that. And now I'm going to go over here and show you how you can use it. So I could go in here and put it on my page right here and it would apply it to this page. So now if I select, of course, I'm, I don't think it's working in the builder. It's acting weird in the builder. So so now if I save, get out of here, and we'll go preview it on this page, and then I'll show you one other thing you can do. Okay, so now I'm just gonna just randomly like highlight text. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna take it out. I was gonna hit that and save again. Then I'm gonna show you one more time, and then I'm going to show you where you should put this to affect your whole site. Okay, now I'm going to select. See, it's blue. It's that color that you see all the time. That's the default. Yeah, it doesn't match my site at all. So what I'm going to do, you can go into your dashboard. I'm just going to open a new window here. Now this does apply pretty much anytime you're adding any of our code snippets, but I wanted to show you here. Go down to Divi, Theme Options, and then in Theme Options, as soon as that page opens up, just scroll down and you'll have the custom CSS box. So I am going to paste that in here. Just put it at the bottom of any code you have there. Paste that there and save. And now it will affect your whole site. And you may need to do like a hard refresh to get the cache out of there. But like, remember I don't have it here, so let's refresh. And now I do. So now it's affecting any page on my site from putting, because I put it there in theme options, all right? I know this is quick and easy. I hope you enjoy it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, you know, let me know if you're doing anything creative like this or if you want to see more things. So I, I know I have a lot of tutorials like on functionality and things like that. But if you like fun things like this where it's kind of accents and design related, then let me know and I'll try to do more of those. All right. So that's how you change the cursor highlight color. Hope you've enjoyed that. That was kind of a fun one. Um, let me know if you have any more fun ideas like this that we can cover. Um, I'd be happy to hear them from you. Maybe we can do them in some of our videos. Again, we do these quick videos on Thursdays and full tutorials on Tuesdays. So be sure you're following along. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.